Hi class, we are in the end of our first week of spring break. We have an extended spring break, as you know. This week uh, was meant for professors to put their face-to-face -face classes online, and next week is our normal spring break. This has been a crazy time, a tumultuous time, an uncertain time for everybody, and I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're staying healthy, washing your hands a lot, staying home, and keeping your social distance and all the things we have been told to do. So I hope you're all doing well and not too stressed out. Uh, go outside. It's really nice outside, and that's one thing we're allowed to do. Go outside, take your dog for a walk, um, practice whatever it is that makes you feel healthy and peaceful. So that's my hope for all of you and myself. Uh, so just wanted to update you on what's going on with the class. I did update the syllabus. I updated all of the assignments. Most of them have new due dates because of this extended two-week break, but I'm thinking we can still end on time on May 18th. I don't think we'll need to extend the semester as a lot of classes will be doing. I do still want to try the group projects, so I created WebEx groups, teams within Canvas. I, you should have gotten an invitation. If you go to WebEx team, you'll see your group, team one and team two. See if you can meet up, and when it's time to do the presentation, that'll be on Monday the 30th. I can uh, create a WebEx conference, and hopefully everybody can go on. You guys can present. If you're not able to share your screen, you can email me your presentation and I can share it and then you guys can talk about it. So this is new for all of us. I have tried WebEx with some other small groups and I've tried conference with other classes, but let's see how it works. And then going forward, you already have all your readings online. So the quizzes and I'll have discussion questions up for every week. And I do want to still do some things interactive. So I will have Maybe not every week, but many weeks I'll have a time, sometime during the class time, when we should all log on and we can all see and hear and talk to each other. So on March 30th, you'll still have the group presentations, and then there's a video to watch about Tolstoy, and we'll talk about Ivan Ilyich, which is a great short piece, um, The Death of Ivan Ilyich. I hope you enjoy it. And then April 6th, we'll talk about women and women's writings. There's four women's writings that we'll be reading. They're all very short. April 13th, we will talk about King Leopold's soliloquy. That's one of the weeks I'd love for us to get on and be able to see each other and talk. And that's when your second essay is due, not until April 13th. Also, a side note, taxes are not due on April 15th. They're not due till July. Okay, so April 13th is King Leopold's Soliloquy, and Essay 2 is due. April 20th, we will talk about Rabindranath Tagore. I taped our my colleague in India, Dr. Abra Bose, and so I can show you that video, have some questions, and talk about Tagore. On the 27th of April, we'll talk about modernism. We have three readings for that day. Some readings by Freud, which is always fascinating. Readings by The Very Old Man with Enormous Wings by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And T.S. Eliot's The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. Two weeks on Things Fall Apart, May 4th and 11th. And then the final day of class will be May 18th. You'll give presentations live, online. And... Uh, that'll be the last day of class. As far as your research paper, so essay two is due April 13th. Your research paper topic will be due April 20th. Your annotated bibliography will be due on the 27th. The first draft of your research paper will be due May 4th, and the final draft will be due May 11th. So these are our new due dates. This is our new normal. I'll post more videos. We'll be doing everything online. Some things together or synchronously, but most things not together, more like a typical online class. 
I'm here if you have any questions, need anything, need help, uh, anything you want that I could help you with, please let me know. See you online.